guys, in case you're new to this channel, my name is Hamad Benesha. I'm the founder of undoit.ca. In this channel, I talk about MacBooks, MacBooks repairs, everything to do with MacBooks. I'm located in Toronto, Canada, downtown next to the Sin Tower. And I have been in the business for over 20 years. I'm also an Apple certified technician and I only fix MacBooks, nothing else. So if you haven't done it yet, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Well, hi guys, Hamad Benesha here for undoit.ca. Today, we're going to work on the MacBook Air. 2020 basically something got stuck in the port see it doesn't go all the way this one is no problem okay so i'm gonna show you how to remove the usb-c port so obviously the first thing we want to do as always is always to remove the, um, the battery which i did already as soon as you remove the back cover always remove the battery for the obvious reason that if something got dropped on the board and the plug and it's plugged into the power well you're gonna have a serious problem as mentioned, this uh, this MacBook has no no problem except for this for the USB-C port. So I'm going to show you how to replace it or to remove it. It's not that difficult, really. So there's four screws. So the first one you might want to do is go uh, through over here. There you go, so gently, always, okay, because there is a lot of components here, microscopic components, sometimes people go too hard, and they actually knock one out, and then the machine won't try again, so always be gentle. Then I'm going to remove those two. Okay, and it should come out. There you go. So, as you can see, there is nothing wrong. There is no burn or anything like that. It was just, it was just something stuck in here. Let's see. I don't know how it came out. Let me take a look under the microscope. So it's this part over here. I think it's dirt. I can see the dirt here. I'm just gonna check on the, on the microscope. Oh, I see it. Okay, it's just dirt something really sticky that, that got inside the port there. Let me see if I can remove it and show you on the camera what it is. There, I got it. Okay, so here it is. Something went in there. And actually, there's another one. There you go. And that was preventing the, um, the port. Work. Okay, so good news there is nothing wrong okay there was something wrong it's very easy to replace you just get a new one okay but again it cannot be a problem with the board only a problem with the with the with the, with the port so i'm just gonna put them back there you go okay now i should try it again No problem. Put this port. No problem. All good. I hope you enjoyed this video. The process is very easy. Whether you're located in Toronto or anywhere in Canada, just visit undoit.ca. Click here to get a quote, or you can also click on the menu here get a free quote, it's the same link. There is nine different categories, so try to select the one that best apply to you. In this example, I'm just gonna click on my screen is black. And uh, let's assume my screen goes black when I tilt it. So I can, you can either get a free quote online or you can also call if you prefer. Uh, for this example, I'm just gonna click on get a free quote, fill up the form and just click on submit form. When you click on submit form, this is what I receive on my end. And as you can see, we do receive a lot of requests. Uh, actually, 90% of our business is uh, shipped to us now from all over Canada. So you can rest assured that we know what we're doing. Uh, so I read it, 
analyze it and then I send an email with a quote uh, with all the option to the client and if you decide to ship it you just click uh, here to select your shipping option and then you'll receive a shipping label. As soon as your MacBook is fixed, you will receive an email with pictures showing your MacBook repaired, your invoice, and how to proceed with the payment by credit card. As soon as the payment is made, we'll send it back to you. Thanks again for watching, and I look forward to receiving your MacBook. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know, share it, and don't forget to subscribe. See you in my next video.